With the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row, meteorologist Chad Raiflisberger. Well, it has been quiet for much of the day, but now showers and thunderstorms pushing into our western communities, some of which are severe. Right now, let's look outside. Storm Team 5 Skyview camera powered by Pella windows and doors looking towards the west in Appleton. A muggy 84 degrees, and you can see those dark clouds starting to move in from the west. Appleton, you will have uh, some of these uh, showers and storms within the next hour or so. Dark skies as well looking towards the west in Oshkosh. Still dry at the moment with a temperature of 85. Many of us uh, across northeastern Wisconsin still dry as these mid to high level clouds continue to move in from the showers and storms to our west. But notice this line of very intense and strong thunderstorms now making the way into our western communities. Not only are we dealing with some very strong winds, but heavy rain and frequent lightning with these as well. So here are the current warnings across the area. First of all, severe thunderstorm warning for Portage, portions of western Wapaka and all of Washera County. That runs until 445 this afternoon. It's right along this leading edge of thunderstorms where we have those very strong winds that could gust in excess of 60 miles an hour. So again, Wapaka, Washera County, severe thunderstorm warning until 445. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning now for Green Lake County. That runs until 430, much like the storms to the north. It's right along this leading edge that has the gustiest winds that could be in excess of 60 miles an hour. We have had some reports of trees and power lines down for areas across western Wisconsin, all in association with this same line of showers and storms moving through right now. And now the newest warnings are for Winnebago and Fond du Lac counties. That runs until 515 this afternoon in advance of this line of showers and storms that is quickly moving to the east at around 35 to 40 miles an hour. So areas around Oshkosh uh, towards Fond du Lac, even Wapon, you're still quiet right now, but these will quickly start to move into your area. Expect some very strong winds, maybe some small hail and some very heavy rain along with some frequent lightning as these continue to move through. So time it out here uh, with our forecasts over the next uh, two hours or so. These storms again moving to the east at around 35 miles an hour. So locations around Wapaka, 422. These storms will be moving in uh, just after 430 in Ripon, right around 5 o'clock for Oshkosh, a few minutes after 5 o'clock in Appleton, and it will probably be after 530 for Green Bay and areas to the east of Lake Winnebago as these storms continue to move through. There's really no sign of these weakening, so I do expect these to continue to hold their strength. They have been strengthening within the last uh, hour to hour and a half. They were much weaker and not severe just off to our west earlier today, but now they are starting to become a little bit stronger as they make their way into our area. Behind this, just general rain showers across central Wisconsin, and then we're drying out off to the west, but we'll be watching for potentially more development late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. The severe thunderstorm watch has also been expanded to include areas such as uh, Outagami, Brown, Kiwani counties and areas to the south. This severe thunderstorm watch runs until 7 o'clock this evening, 9 o'clock this evening for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. So high res future cast showing the showers and storms still quite strong with that leading edge of very strong winds around 6 o'clock for Green Bay towards Oshkosh, Appleton and areas to the east. This will continue to make its way into the lakeshore areas around 7 o'clock. This should start to wrap up by about 10 o'clock or so and then we'll be watching for potentially more redevelopment as we head through the overnight into early tomorrow morning, some of those storms could be strong once again. I think the main concern, however, late tonight into early tomorrow morning will be the potential for some very heavy rain. So active next 12 hours expected across northeastern Wisconsin. So in detail from Storm Team 5 for tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be severe. Expect some very heavy rain late tonight with low temperatures very muggy in the mid to upper 60s. Partly cloudy for your Friday, it'll be another warm day with highs in the low to mid 80s away from the lakeshore. Your seven day planner has temperatures in the upper 80s and humid on Saturday. Chance for showers and storms late in the day on Sunday, and then temperatures remain in the low to mid 80s for much next week. The Kagan Allergy Report for today has pollen high and mold very high, and the latest forecast updates can be found on our Facebook page, WFRV Local 5. Stay inside as these storms move in, but if you have any damage reports to pass along, that's a really easy way to do so. We'd like to get that onto air so people know what to expect here over the next few hours. All right, we thank you, Chad.